I got a juice, juice, juice. So we got a juice, just see me love, and we are here today. I mean, we here. Mig 718, Staten Island in the building. I'm sorry, but nobody's came through the way Staten Island came through today. That's a fact. It's the only way we come through on some extra shit. Yeah. Everything's got to be on some extra shit. I met you a few years ago. Your sound, your look, when I met you, you were confident. You were beautiful in your look, looking fresh. And I'm here today, life is full circle. Oh, yeah. The universe. Hearing your music. Seeing what you're all about, let's talk about it. When did you get into music? Let's start with that. Well, I've been into music since I was a little kid. Like, to be honest with you, I was always listening to something different. My parents used to bring every type of genre you could think of around me. It would, it would be Mark Anthony one day and then Slipknot the next day and then Biggie the day after that. And it's like, I always had like a bunch of different influences. And when I was in fifth grade, I actually, I was in chorus when I was a little kid. I sang for a little bit when I was younger. I was a soprano, shit, it was dope. Uh we had to go all over the place. I ended up doing the national anthem for the Yankees. What? What kind of what, what kind of chorus was this? Oh, uh, it's PS22 chorus. Make sure you oh. look them up. That's that's home. I didn't do it. It's different. Exactly. Okay. I said everything is extra. It's got to be. I bet. And I was standing. I got to push up. So, music from there. Honestly, I was an athlete for the rest of my like teenage years for the most part. Once I got to like 18, 17. An athlete. What were you, what were you playing? I was playing football. I did gymnastics. I was skateboarding. Yeah. I was jumping oh. around. I was dancing. I was a dancer first. So it's like there's a lot of there's a lot of dimensions behind this guy. I am never what you expect, I promise. You heard that. But then it was like, all right, 17, 18 came around and I was like, yo, the music is whack right now. People are saying dumb shit. They're not even trying to make it like sound cool. Like, bro, where where's the rap part? So I was like, yeah, let me let me rap. I think I could do this better. Started doing it, started enjoying it. Everybody and their mother was like, yo, this is fire. So I'm like, uh, okay, it's fire, I'm gonna keep going then. It's just the only way that I could think. It's like, all right, I gotta keep pushing if that's the case. They like it, keep giving them what they want. But I don't I don't ever think I was ever the type to be like, oh, I just, I wanna be a famous rapper. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanna be a famous rapper. No, it was just, I wanna be an artist. I wanna be able to go worldwide. So the music shit for me is my, my, out, my full outlet. I'm able to do whatever I want, say whatever I want. And if it resonates with you, it resonates with you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm having a good time regardless, because I be getting wasted. <laughs> I be getting wasted. I'm not ready. Y'all are not ready for this. Okay, when it comes to your sound, you just talked about rap. You talked about this is versatility on all levels. What sound we working with right now? Ah, that's hard for me because I think the next like three, four drops are like completely different from each other. But they all sound like MIGs. That's the difference. It's never not going to sound like me. We've just been, me and my team have been working super hard on making sure that everything is as crispy as possible. Because I'm, I'm a rock star. I need that shit to be on point. Seriously. We got to be able to, and you know, arena. Quantity, over quantity. We're, always, always. We're in a time right now where it's quantity, quantity. Everybody's tapping, swiping, tapping. Gotta catch seriously. their attention. Seriously. And you gotta keep their attention. So, in all reality, I've just been working nonstop, 100 miles an hour. It's just, it's the only way to move and shake. Plus, I don't like being in the same spot. It makes me feel like anxious and shit. I gotta be moving and shaking. I gotta stay outside. Plus, like doing shows and talking to people and meeting new people, like that stuff, that's my jam. Like, I love being outside. Saying how wasted brought me back to like earning 2000s. It brought me Link 182. It brought me. It brings me that vibe, something that I feel like we are missing. Uh, the the thing is with this song, I was like, yo, I want to make a song that I can hear in a movie. That was my first thing. I was like, I want to make a song that I can hear in a movie. I had just been off like four or five days straight drinking, and I was like, oh, I've been doing that a lot. Let me write about that. And it just it turned into something that just sat in my notes for like a month. Then it turned into, all right, now I have the, the hook, the verse, the hook written. I need another verse. And then I, I linked up with my new producers. Uh, right now, if you look into the pair entertainment, Jacob Kulik and April Rose Gabrielli are like the shit, to be honest with you. And they've been real consistent with my production lately. It's like we found it, figured everything out, made sure that all the lyrics were put down the way that they needed to be, wrote some stuff, and just it was just so organic that it just made it so much fun for us. Plus, it's a song about having a good time. Like I don't, I didn't have to do it's anything. It's Ryan. It has lyrics. It yeah. has, it's, a, it's just such a vibe. It's just fun. You're partying, but at the same time you're singing to it. Like I get wasted, but there's meaning to exactly. getting wasted. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's it's not just about getting drunk. It's about getting drunk and having a good time. 
you're not doing it for no reason. You might as well enjoy yourself. A lot of times people get too caught up in all the negative and it's like, nah, bro, just have a good time. If you're getting wasted, wasted, just get wasted. Just get enjoy wasted. yourself. Have your, have your fun. You know what I mean? This is all about having fun. Tell us what else is out. Well, right now, I just dropped another record called Centipede. That's like a whole punk record. It's ridiculous. Uh, I actually have the video drop in on Friday, April 21st. So that video is like a movie. Like, it's for real like a movie. It's just like a, a whole bad trip, basically, just put on screen, and it just looks awesome. We've just been doing everything in our power to try to hit as much of my brain as possible to make the music. I feel, like I said, I feel bored being in one spot, so it's like I want to make a rock record. I want to make a pop record. I want to be able to move and shape with a lot There's of There's space for all of that right now. That's what I'm saying. It's like, who's stopping me from doing that? Nope, nobody. It doesn't make any sense for anybody to try to get it away so because I'm doing something different from them most of the time. And if they think I'm doing something similar, guess what? The next song is not the same. I promise you every single time. <laughs> it's going to be something completely different. So it's just, it's more fun for me to be able to kind of just fully express and just do whatever I want when it comes to the music. It's the only way it feels right. Only way it feels like it's actually sticking and feels industry quality. It's the only way I feel. I feel like you have, you're at an upper hand with the team you have. Absolutely. Because it's truly family. Absolutely. And me today, I found out mm -hmm. that your father's yeah. behind you. Like, absolutely. And I've known you guys for so many years, and I had no clue. But just to see that support, to see the dynamic, to see that vibe, talk to us about the benefits of having someone like that. Well, the thing is, having a good support system just makes things easier to kind of like express. You know what I mean? It makes things just easier to be able to have somebody to bounce off of. And somebody that, that has good intentions for you, you know what I mean? Being able to have somebody that you know and you can trust is something that you can't really find in this industry. That's right. So I, I take uh, all of that into account. I'm beyond appreciative, especially considering everybody in my family thinks my crazy shit is awesome. So it's like, yeah, they love it when I'm crazy. So we're having a good time all the way around. There were people like go out. Crazy, so clean and so precise and so well thought out. Organized chaos. Oh, that's organized. that's what it is. Space, yeah. Okay. I just everybody needs to know now. This organized chaos. Organized chaos. I really love that. Yo, man. Make several one eight stand out and about to take over. Uh, my drink is that. In here, get your weight. We get your weight. Yo, we can't wait to what's. We cannot wait for what's to come. You need to come back. Soon too. It's gonna be dropping real soon. Oh, we gonna drop it like it's hot. But uh, that's the you to find. Plus, it's still got the juice. You see what's happening? It's mixed up with Ace. Still got well, the juice. What did you hear? Still got the juice. What comes to mind? I don't care. <laughs> what I care about is <laughs> what are we moving forward with? What's the future gonna look like? And now I'm on it. And that's the juice. juice. The future that, is the future. That's fucking having the juice. Yo, Mink, seven one eight. You already know. Stand at it. Still got the juice, just you know. Ways to drop it soon, send it me, drop it soon, all that good shit. Kiss your mom on the forehead for me, tell your mama. <laughs> we out of here.